I said he gets used to tracking it, he gets used to getting it in his mouth in the right position, but he doesn't have to catch it. Some dogs are afraid of the frisbee when it comes out and like this to begin with. Yeah. Once he's good at doing this, and how do you know he's good at it? He knows where I'm going to throw it before I throw it. Then he's ready to start catching them. And we just start with little short tosses. <laughs> and then when he catches up, we're going to go a little farther. <laughs> and then we're going to go a little farther. Boy, Chad, read enough. And we'll go farther. Good job. Oh. And we're going to go a little bit farther. Good job. I want to go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> nice catch, Daddy. Then when he gets good at those, he's ready for the competition frisbee. And we do the same thing with it. We get him to take it from us. We do the rollers. Uh. We do little short tosses. He might do the short tosses for a while until he gets really good at it. That's when you go up is when they get really good at it. Then we're going to go a little farther. And a little farther. Good job. And a little farther. And let's see if we can go the whole room here. Okay, Ted, go. Now what you, just, what you just saw is one half of the National Frisbee Contest. You get in one minute to get in as many throws and catches as possible. The second round of the contest is what's called freestyle, where you can do anything you want with the Frisbee. And we'll show you some more of those tricks a little bit later. <laughs> but we're going to, Teddy here is a vaulting dog, is what he likes to do. You guys know what vaulting is? Seen the Olympics where the gymnasts jump off of the horse and do flips and stuff? Yeah. Well, that's vaulting. What do you think that Teddy might vault off of? You. you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have the vaulting vest. <laughs> to protect me from his nails. Now, the rules are in your house, dogs keep their feet off of people, don't teach your dog to be a vaulting dog. Because once they learn it, they like to do it. And we start off without a frisbee. We just have him get up on me so that he learns I'm strong enough to hold him. Do you think I'd try to do this with McNamee? No. No. I had a dog, as I said, named Rock, and he weighed 75 pounds. I tried to do this with him one time. It was great when he jumped on me and when he jumped off of me, he pushed me face first into the ground. <laughs> and I thought I had broke my neck. <laughs> so that's when, but that's why I started using 33 pound Teddy for it. <laughs> now what we do is I said we just have him get up on me to begin with and he knows, gets comfortable with me, he knows I'm strong enough to hold him. The next thing that we do at my house where the dogs have their own couch that they bought with their own money, so it's okay for them to get up on the furniture. If at your house the rules are dogs stay off the furniture, use a box or a hillside or something. The next thing we do is I have him get up on the couch, and then I get down on all fours like this, I just have him walk out on my back. And that's how he knows that I'm gonna do, that I can do this. Then from there we have the Frisbee, and this is after there are very good Frisbee catches. Reed hates this trick. So bear with me, please. I'm sorry. But we start off nice and low and just have to Jealous. But Teddy here is a big time Fulton dog. Even though he's 12 years old, he can still do a pretty good vault. So we're going to give you guys a full vault now. Wait right there. Wait right there. Wait right there. 